So, I know most people are super excited about the Steam Deck. The only problem is that it's not really going to be available for most people. It was only announced in a few countries and there wasn't very much stock of it. So reservations got blown out till quarter two and even quarter three of 2022. So I think for people in other countries and people who are in those countries but can't get the Steam Deck, it might be an idea to look at other alternatives. Now one such alternative is the a &Eo. Now the a &Eo actually released at the start of this year, except that was a limited print run and they only made a fixed number of units which they didn't make anymore afterwards. Now they've announced a brand new a &Eo Pro 2021 with an upgraded processor and they also announced the price as well. So that's what we're going to take a look at in this video and we're going to see how it stacks up to the Steam Deck. Okay, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And we have a Discord server, so come along and join us there. And I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so we're in the video cards website and you might get some sticker shock when you read the headline, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now it says here, A&Neo 2021 Pro console with Ryzen 7 4800U to cost 1,215 US dollars. A special retro power edition costs 1,315 US dollars. And uh, let's take a little bit more of a look at these models. So you can see here the A&Neo 2021. Now this was the model that actually came out, I think it was around April sometime. And the 512 gigabyte model cost $925. The one terabyte model cost $1,015. And I guess you can compare the prices of the 512 gigabyte model to the Steam Deck. And so uh, the Steam Deck costs $649 and the A&Neo is uh, 925. So about $300 more. Now, some of that can be explained by the fact that Valve runs the Steam store, so are they going to get uh, money back from software sales? And also the fact that Valve is a much bigger company and they're going to make a lot more units of the Steam Deck, whereas the A&Eo isn't really going to make that many units of this A&Eo. So it's going to cost them a lot more per unit uh, in terms of uh, buying all the parts. Um, so the a &Eo, actually the one that was released uh, already, they only sold two and a half thousand of those in their Indiegogo campaign. So uh, that's not a whole lot of units and I don't expect them to be selling any more than like 10,000 units all up uh, at retail. So yeah, we're talking about really low number of units here. Now let's take a look at the a &Eo 2021 Pro, which is the new one that's going to be coming out. So this is only going to come in a one terabyte version for the time being. There'll be a two terabyte later. This costs $1,215. So it's an extra $200 more than the previous one terabyte version. Now uh, you are getting something for that $200, namely the uh, processor that you're getting, uh, which is now a Ryzen 7 4800U. And previously you're only getting a 4500U. And so uh, we'll talk about this more on the specs, but you are getting 33% more performance on this a &E 2021 Pro. So it is uh, worth it uh, in terms of uh, what you're getting from the previous model. The only thing is that it is still quite expensive that this is $1,215. Now, there's also an A&Eo 2021 Pro, which I believe has the same internals inside. The only difference is that there's a new color scheme. So it's got the Nintendo or, or NES uh, colors. And it's also going to come with a dock as well. So I think you can buy that dock separately, but it's going to come with this version of the system. The one terabyte model is going to uh, cost $1,315. Okay, so I want to read you this part. So it says here, the a &Eo 2021 Pro will mainly feature an upgraded APU with eight cores and 16 threads. The original version only had six cores and six threads, which was the Ryzen 5 4500U. The AMD Ryzen 7 4800U offers a 4.2 gigahertz turbo clock, 200 megahertz higher than the Ryzen 5 4500U and two graphics compute units more. Also clocked 250 megahertz higher, 1.75 gigahertz. Those changes should have a noticeable impact on the performance, especially GPU power. So if you work that out, eight divided by six is 33% uh, more in terms of the graphics compute units. And you're going to be getting about 250 megahertz higher, which is about 10% more. 
So if you put all that together, you're getting about 40% more power on the AN Neo. Now it's not quite Steam Deck where you're getting about 50, 55, 60% extra power, but you are getting close. And so now you're getting eight Vega units, whereas on the Steam Deck, you'll be getting eight RDNA 2 units. And I've made a video before showing the difference between a Vega unit and the RDNA 2 units. And it's about 20 to 25% difference in terms of compute power between the uh, Vega and the RDNA 2. So you won't actually be that far behind if you actually do end up picking up the AN Neo. Obviously the only difference here is that uh, the AN Neo is actually a lot more expensive. So if you're gonna get the Steam Deck, that was gonna be $649. And now uh, if you were to pick up the AN Neo 2021 with the one terabyte model, that's going to be $1,215. So it's almost double the price. So the question is, can you even get a Steam Deck? And for a lot of people who ordered, they might not be getting it until quarter two or quarter three of 2022, which is a year away. And how much is that time worth to you? Is it worth $500 or $600? I can see a reason why people may want to get an AN Neo 2021 Pro, because um, when the Steam Deck comes out in say December, and it's being sold on eBay, you can bet that it's gonna be like $1,200 anyway. And it has 20% less performance in terms of graphics, but I think you're still gonna be able to play a ton of games anyways. So there might be some games that work better on the Steam Deck because of that 20% extra performance. But on the whole, you're gonna be able to play lots of games on that AN Neo 2021 Pro. So I think even though it's super expensive, I do see people buying this and they're only gonna have a very small number of units available. So uh, they're gonna sell out anyways. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.